That sound is about the same volume as a chainsaw or lawnmower. It's really just a swarm of male cicadas looking for love. But as millions of cicadas descend upon the mid-Atlantic this summer, a hallucinogenic fungus could turn them into sex-crazed zombies. Despite their ear-bleeding mating call and prehistoric appearance, they are harmless and actually quite helpless. So they avoid predators with their fascinating and mysterious life cycle. These periodical cicadas spend 13 or 17 years underground, depending on the species, before they emerge in synchrony over the course of a month. Various regions experience a different batch of cicadas at different times. New York, Pennsylvania, and Delaware will see them in spring 2021. The periodical cicada has the longest confirmed life cycle of any insect. Scientists think they spend a prime number of years underground to avoid syncing up with the life cycles of predators. Cicadas aren't asleep during that whole time. They're sucking on the tree roots and maturing until their year arrives. When the soil temperature reaches around 65 degrees, the cicadas crawl out, shed their skin, and mate until they die, which is just a few weeks later. They're clumsy, so their real defense is in numbers. They use a strategy called predator swamping to overwhelm potential hunters. Once they emerge, there can be upwards of 1.5 million cicadas per acre. It might feel like an invasion, but just remember, they're not an invasive species. They actually have a positive ecological impact. They prune mature trees, aerate the soil, and their dead bodies add nutrients to vegetation. They also provide an easy snack for other insects and small mammals. But these predators only make a small dent in the population. Predators are more of a threat to the defenseless cicada stragglers that emerge earlier than the rest of the batch. Scientists theorize climate change could be making these early appearances more common. Higher temperatures speed along cicada growth, so this could trigger them to crawl out years ahead of schedule. But the real threat once they emerge is a hallucinogenic fungi called Mesospora cicadina that turns cicadas into sex-crazed zombies. This fungi can't live outside a cicada, so it infects the cicadas right before they emerge, their abdomen begins to slide off, and they enter a zombie state, driven to mate with anything they can find. Sadly, these attempts are useless because the Mesospora cicadina has already eaten through their butt and genitals. The fungi compounds mainly responsible for this are cathinone, an amphetamine known as bath salts, and psilocybin, the same psychoactive compound in magic mushrooms. Scientists believe understanding these compounds could lead to breakthrough drug discoveries that could ultimately contribute to growing research into psilocybin to treat depression and PTSD. In the meantime, keep your ears peeled because you won't hear these suckers for another 17 years. <laughs> <laughs>